These are some of the dirtiest jokes in TV shows that you missed as a kid. Now, if you guys haven't seen the first episode of this, I'll leave a link in the description. Don't worry, they're not related or anything. After this video is done, go over there and check it out because there's a whole bunch more. But you guys really seem to like the last video I did of this, so we're back for more! It's time to ruin some childhoods. Let's go, let's do this. Uh, honey, I don't think that's gonna fit. Just a little more, dear. <laughs> Got it. No! And we're off to a flyer! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, Timmy, we're taking Dr. Bills. I'm busy. Do they use a lot of paper towels, spend too much time alone in their rooms, and say, don't bother me? I'm just going to take these paper towels up to my room alone, so don't No! Me. Oh, no. <laughs> Not Timmy! <laughs> Not Timmy. Don't ruin Fairly Odd Parent. Cosmo and Wanda are too pure for this earth. Well... Cosmo is most of the time because I don't feel like he knows where he is, but that's okay. You know, I feel like we're all a little bit like that. If you're young, random tip of advice. You may look at someone older and go, wow, they probably have their life together. They have, you know, they may have like a mortgage and they do their taxes and oh, they, they, they have their life together. Spoiler alert, no one has their life together. We're all just following through life together. Hopefully something will stick. Doesn't matter if you're 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, you still have no idea what's going on. You just figure it out as you go. Wow, Gary, look, a pirate treasure Bob, no. My pride Why, and joy. No, Gary, this isn't the bathtub. It's treasure. Look, doubloons. Don't drop them. Nice. <laughs> I have nothing else to add. Just nice. This is our dad. This is Robin. Oh, I think I've seen this. Why, hello there, Robin. It's very nice to have you as our new neighbor. I'm the professor. Yeah, he made us in his laboratory by accident. As you do? Well, what can I say? Don't worry, Professor. I was an accident, too. That's not even dirty. That's just sad. No. <laughs> Out here crying in the club. Excuse me. And my personal favorite, Lonely Space Vixen. <laughs> uh, that's right. Wait, can we go back to Lonely Space Vixens? Look at that! Ah! What's his name again? Lou! Lou Pickles! Oh, the man still has his needs! <laughs> well, I mean, of course he does. But he's also talking to, like, two-year-olds. Ah! <laughs> That's a roller coaster of just funny, but also really sad because I love these shows growing up. Sheesh! This is caca! Where do people come here? Oh yeah, they came here, all right. <laughs> because when you're a kid, like, where was my brain? What, what do you think that is? They all just have hydraulic cars? Like, oh, they got bouncy castle cars. Oh, that's awesome. No, no, Jimmy, no. <laughs> Great Athena, we give you this virgin as a sacrifice to your beauty and womanhood. Did she say virgin? Anything Johnny Bravo related, I just, I don't really, that's, I love the show, but you realize in your older age that he's just honestly a creepy perv. Big facts on that one. I think I mentioned this in the last video, but when you're growing up, you're like, yeah, Johnny Bravo, he's so cool and strong and he picks up chicks, ah. But then you realize the tactics of how he does it and you're like, ooh, ooh he's a slime ball. It's like, he reminds me of guys who just slither around in nightclubs, you know, just latching their teeth onto anything they can get their hands on. He reminds me of that and it just, it can't Kind of ruined the show a little bit. Who? Situation normal. All. All fouled up. <laughs> the shaking F. Look at this. This is a beautiful touch. The shaking of the F. All. All fouled up. Nice. <laughs> Good save, good save, good save. I really hope none of these are racist, because if you notice, there's also compilations out there that show how racist, like, 50s cartoons were. I'm not gonna do that, because these are dirty, because, you know, it's, you know, we, we can imagine what it is in our brain. But with the racist ones, it's pretty just downright wrong. <laughs> well, it looks like Sweetie Puss gets stuck for dinner after all, don't it? This isn't, like, dirty jokes. This is, like... Like, no, even as a kid, we all know that we're all, you're gonna be cooked. Maybe not like that. Oh, no, no, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Daffy, Daffy, don't do it. Daffy, I swear to, no. What is happening, Chief? <laughs> what? Oh, God. <laughs> what? I mean, yeah, but what? Little Johnny Chipmunk 
ran after the pretty butterfly so fast, he slipped and fell right down on his fat little news flash. What? <laughs> You're trying to tell me that Mickey Mouse and Pluto listen to fan fictions? I can never look at the same man again. Mickey Mouse is a squirrel stand. Sure, sure. What could be worse? Probably the next clip. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about it is, like, these are dirty, but they're meant to be dirty. I feel like the other ones were like, you know, the 90s, 2000s, were like just sneaking it in there. Those are the better ones. These you don't miss. These you just know. Ooh, I guess maybe if you're like 56 years old and watching this, which there's maybe like three of you, and okay, shout out, then you may have missed it. But I was born in 95. I didn't grow up in this era. All right, let's go back to more recent kids' TV shows where it's more hidden and like sly and slick. Okay, that didn't work at all. It only seemed to increase their appetite for wieners. We need stronger tactics. Right, something that would make Mr. Krabs' whole wiener thing blow right up in his face. Like that! <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm like disappointed. I'm actually ruining my childhood one video at a time. If you're still with me, thank you for sticking with me. This is a <laughs> this is a roller coaster. Ah, uh, stick around to the end. This is gonna be a good video. <laughs> Get me out of here, will you? Come on then. Oh, let's no. Oh. oh, let's be. <laughs> it's a hundred percent true that anytime an Englishman wants to do stuff with their man or woman, they say the terms "let's be having you." <laughs> I can confirm every single time with every single Englishman in the world. Hey, oh, Barbara, let's be having you. Come here, Gay Bungle, baby. <laughs> Wait, no, I don't remember anything bad about this. Yeah, US dollar. Hmm. Oh, that's so well caught. Oh, that's so well caught. Oh my day. This boy's got some eagle eye. Look at that smile. Oh, Nickelodeon. Oh, well played. That is fantastic. Yeah, I work from home. Oh, same well, as me, tell buddy. You what, uh... It smells just awful. Yeah, I know. That's one of the job perks. Mm. So just come around to the back door. The back door? Yeah. You, no. Always wanted to go in the back. I bet you did, buddy. Wait! That reminds me. There's a Star Wars one. Hold on. Wait. Back door, huh? Good idea. Reminds me of that. Nice and subtle for you. Look, Rain. The reindeers are inviting elves to join them for a party at Donna's house. Uh-huh. Mm. Somehow the idea of joining the Donner Party is unappealing. Almost through, Pinky. The Donner Party, an 18th century group of pioneers who resorted to cannibalism during a troubled trek from Illinois to California. Wait, run it back. The reindeers are inviting elves to join them for a party at Donner's house. Hmm. Somehow the idea of joining the Donner Party is unappealing. Almost through, Pinky. Oh, Fam. Animation studios had way too much fun making these cartoons. Oh, they're slipping so many things in that you had to think about to really get. Powerpuff Girls sharpening the pencil. Fun fact about the Powerpuff Girls, for those who remember the show, the mayor in the Powerpuff Girls is the same guy who voices SpongeBob, Tom Kenny. The more you know. Ty, can you roll the... Thank you. There it is. Love to see it. Hello, mayor. Oh, yeah. I remember Look her. Ms. Bellum. How is every little thing... Him! Uh, I didn't even know! You pencil go snap. Now that you hear, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll talk about this in a second. Now that you hear that it's SpongeBob, you can't unhear it. All right, let me rewind that. Sorry, hold on. Hello, Mayor. Good day, Ms. Bellum. How is every little thing? Thing? You pencil go snap. Same, Here. buddy. Let me help you with that. <laughs> that's the worst one <laughs> that's barely even hidden that's in plain sight Freddy's door number iCarly I there's a slight generation gap I never watched iCarly so 24 something like 22 and below you watched iCarly I have no idea uh Freddy Freddy we can unhug now Please let this last. 
gentle clap. Golf clap for that one. That was subtlety. Very nice. Mm, like a fine wine. Very nice. So I found another video and it has a watermark in the middle of it. There's only going to be a few memes of this and then we'll move on. But just bear with me on this one. I, I couldn't find the originals of this, by the way. Now with him gone, it's up to me to feed the family. Wow, you've been busy. I suppose I am good at one thing. <laughs> Sensible chuckle. Lovely sensible chuckle. Oh, we know what you're good at. We know what you're good at. You good at f Winner without a snow job. That's not good. Oh, there's a Get few it. pixels snow here. Job. Snow job. Yes, well, that was clever. <laughs> Again, I'm pretty sure I said this in the first episode, but if you want to go check it out after this video, there'll be a link in the description and a card at the end of the video. Ed and Nettie, the developers of that show were on something. Oh, I, I'm not going to say what, but they were on something, because holy Christ. I am Ludwig von Beethoven. Where oh, Beethoven, who's been dead for quite some time. And pianist. You're a what? A pianist. Mwah. Good night, everybody. Uh, and that's the joke. A pianist. <laughs> it's textbook. Uh, that, that's that's a textbook joke. We'll let you fly with that one. I really let you fly with all these. It's it's fun being able to be older and watch back and just have our entire childhood ruined in a matter of fifteen to twenty minutes or however long this video is. I can't. I had no idea the ASP problem was this big. The what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've never seen so much asp before. Oh, it's me, Cleo Pantless. Cleo Pantless. That is the start of an adult film. I had no idea the asp problem was this big. Asp. <laughs> the P sold them from lawsuits. I've never seen so much asp before. Oh, it's me, Cleo Pantless. Siri, there's nothing quite like a nice, big, fresh, hot bucket of asp milk. Asp. Ooh, what is asp? Here's what I found. Oh, it's a venomous snake found by the aisle. And she's surrounded by snakes, right? The only way they're able to pull that off. No one's going to know what an asp is, especially at that age. Even the snakes are like, damn, girl, take it off. Take it off, girl. Oh, shit. It's like the snakes are in like a stripes club. You know what I mean. Bending demonetization like a boat. SpongeBob, how come you're all twitchy Not another SpongeBob like one, no. Twitchy? Who's twitchy? Oh, no. I'm not twitchy. I you remember know, this. Sorry, Sandy, I have to uh, 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 go get my haircut. SpongeBob doesn't have hair? Or does he? Oh, <gasps> no. No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I feel like Steve Carell in the office. No, God, please, no, 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 no! Eddie, I fear they're becoming amorous. What's that mean? That's what I was running. If you don't know what amorous is, you can probably guess when someone's feeling a little bit loved up, shall we say? So, with that being said, let's have a watch again. Eddie, I fear they're becoming amorous. What's that mean? That's what I was running! Yeah, do about to get f it's time to take the ink blood test. Now, tell me, what does this remind you of? Girls. What does this remind you of? Girls. What does this remind you of? Uh, girls. Uh, you are obsessed with girls! That's hey, my boy! You're the one showing me all the sexy pictures. <laughs> There's my boy right there! <laughs> ah, my boy's a little freak! <laughs> like Brock in SpongeBob in the Indigo League. My boy Brock's a little freak too! <laughs> Scooby, you and Fred check upstairs. Velma and I'll look in the basement. Daphne? Fred! Fred! I mean, you're a little Scooby, you and Velma check upstairs, and Fred and I'll look in the basement. Ah, uh, Fred, you little freak! <laughs> I'm glad it's Fred that's a little bit more freaky because if it was Shaggy, it'd be more like I needed that. I needed that too. You're pushing your luck, Scoop! Rocco's Modern Life. Would you zip me up, darling? Are they making like a Netflix movie of Rocco? I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, how that tickles. Yeah, you get right in there, Rocco. <laughs> Oops. That boy got a clear shot of that asp, if you know what I'm saying. I feel like I really have to pronounce it that. Got a clear shot of that asp. There you go. Yeah, YouTube, asp. Wait a minute. 
You Power expect back. us poor innocent children to climb up dangerous scaffolding and paint naked people all over a church? We'll do it! But we're not doing it for the sake of art. And we're not doing it for the sake of money. No, we're doing it because we like painting naked people. Nice. What's the age? What is the demographic for the show? Like eight years old? Ten years after this air. Which y'all, honestly, maybe people who are like finishing high school right now. All just broken people. <laughs> Actually, yeah. If there's anything I've learned about 2019, we're all pretty broken. <laughs> yeah, Barney boy. Oh, the Flintstones. Kind of Bless. Are you gonna get? Well, uh, I'm gonna get something that makes me look tall. You subscribe there. Another head. <laughs> you watch the last one over there another if you want more of these. What do I need three of them for? <laughs> ah! Go, 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 go! Fred! 